My first stop of the morning was Panera Breads, where I love the everything bagel burnt. That's my free coffee, and the burnt bagel cost $1.86, and boy was it good. I needed to carb up because we are in for a really good hike. All right, join me for this wonderful drive. We're going to Prospect Park in Redlands. Now, this is a beautiful park. It's two tiers. It's a little mountainous, um, but it's so beautiful. You get to walk among the orange groves, the palm trees. The roses smell so good. We are actually driving up an old carriage road. In fact, we're going to park in front or by the carriage house. Isn't this very pretty? I just love this part of the trip. Prospect Park opens up real early in the morning so you can watch the sunrise. I think it's 5 or 6 a.m. And here we are on a dirt, bouncy road. That's okay. We're headed towards the carriage house to where we're going to park the car. I have about three hours worth of work to do. And it's nice. It's peaceful. It's quiet. The birds are chirping. Oh, and there is a dumpster here in case you have to dump something. Nice restrooms. The people that take care of this place do a wonderful job of caretaking. Up top, there's not a lot of parking, but not a lot of people come up here. There's also picnic tables off to the side for a beautiful picnic lunch. And believe it or not, a lot of people come up here for the picnic lunch. Let's find some shade. Oh my gosh, so I opened the door and I guess the orange trees are in blossom. It smells heavenly here. That's the sunshine, and Lucy's too tired to go. It's only 55 degrees out, but I put my insert in. And remember, this is all inserted. This is what will face the sun and lots and lots of insulation. So she'll do fine, especially since it's 55 out. Do I have an automatic door thing? This is so cool. It's like I have a gentleman, right? All right, so this is lovely Prospect Park, and we're gonna zoom in. They actually have a theater. Now this theater charges, but in downtown Redlands, they have an outdoor theater that doesn't charge, but this is probably for kids and stuff like that. Um, and they have an annual play pass, which was reasonable before, you know what happened. Uh, restrooms, the restrooms here are very nice. And uh, we're gonna take a walk among the orange trees. It's absolutely beautiful here. Lovely little picnic area. And I'll zoom out. We have mountains you can't see today, but there's the orange groves. And here's what the restrooms look at like, and they are very well maintained. I love this part of the walk. I don't know what kind of flowers they are, but they smell delightful. And they have trash cans everywhere. And I'll show you the theater. We'll see what's happening. We'll go over to the box office. Oh, they also have poop bags, yay. All right, so there's the box office and the theater's right behind us, so it looks like they have nothing happening right now. So we are at the theater, and it's absolutely wonderful to watch a play here. That's what I've been told. I think tickets are like $15, $20, so it's not a budget buster. But you can hear all the birds tweeting outside. Isn't that beautiful? What a great way to see a play. All right, and we'll be hiking by there, but from here you can see the Kimberly Mansion. It's a brisk morning, and when it's that cold, you can smell the roses, but I'm like, Oh, roses, citrus, roses, citrus. It smells so darn good here. All right, let's do a scratch and sniff, okay? Mmm, smells wonderful. So these are the overlooks, and I've had many cups of coffee here, and I've also been down in the grove painting with my good friend, Yvonne Branchflower, who moved up to Washington or Oregon. What a beautiful view. All right, a little sad but interesting fact. So we have this creek that runs along it and you can see that it's been engineered. Now the Native Americans did this a long long time ago but no one knows what it's called. It, it may be the Zanja, the Zonki, we don't know how to pronounce it but this runs all through Redlands. And yes I painted here too. Isn't that just, that makes such a beautiful painting, it really does. I love walking across footbridges and this is a really good one walking across the Zanja so it's a lot of fun. I know it's small Believe it or not, there's not a lot of hill climbing. It's pretty gradual. So if you're a beginner, this won't kill you doing one lap, right? So this is what they mean, hike along the orange groves. Isn't that beautiful? And it smells so darn good. What a nice hike. This is such a good hike, it really is. And I love this hat because I don't really want to wear sunglasses. But look all around me. There you go. Beautiful, huh? So I think I'll carry you this way. Oh no, you're wobbling, you're wobbling. Whoa! <laughs> All right, the camera wants to be this way. Let's see how good we can do. All right, so I guess I'm supposed to be talking here. Oh my gosh, isn't it pretty? It's pretty, it's gorgeous. Everybody knows Prospect Park is one of the prettiest parks in the country. Yes, I know it is. 
Um, that's just filler right now. But I mean, they have so many different varieties of palm trees and uh, just walking along the orange groves, it's terrific. My camera is watching your camera. How do you like them apples? Gates are open. Let's see. Can you imagine walking up the stairway to your home? Hello, how you all doing? I'm at my home. I'm doing magnificent, thank you. Yes, nobody in our castle's overweight because we make you walk up 500,000 steps to the top. I really am walking off that bagel. Can you believe it? No one was home at the mansion. Anyhow, I'm going to jog down these steps, right, and work off that bagel. All right, I'm going to continue hiking around Prospect Park and enjoying myself. Really pretty flowers here. All right, so now what I'm going to do is do Operation Tire Out. I'm going to the car to get Miss Lucy to tuck her out for a little bit. She's really going to enjoy the hike too. She loves Sniffy Sniff. Miss Lucy does a good job eating her salad greens, doesn't she? Yep. All right, Lucy's lunch is her chicken and brown rice, and this is my mango habanero chicken with some hot sauce and an orange. I'm eating light because we're going well, to- Well, I made an executive decision to go to McDonald's. McDonald's. Kind of Why? Uh -huh. Because I had a $2 coupon for a Big Mac and a dollar fries, so I decided to scarf that down. Also, you may notice no one's in McDonald's. That's because they locked the doors from two to five because of the students across the street that come in and mess things up. It's full of pickles, onions, and lettuce. That's healthy, right? So here's the fries, and I save my little cup. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here's the fries. Miss Lucy got a fry. <laughs> now she says, I don't want no fries. Any bonus fries? Any bonus fries? Let's look. Nope, no bonus fries, and one died. Mm -mm -mm, these are so good. They cooked them fresh. They're delicious. $3 so far today. $3. Yum, these are so fresh. Here you go. Here's a fry for you. Miss Lucy, are we done with your walk? Yes, we are. We went to What a Bargain, and what I got was, because I'm in the East Coast, I love this. This is 12 ounces of in-shell mixed nuts. This is so much fun. I love cracking them. And then for our steering wheel dining tray, we got a couple of placemats to, you know what, if we're doing Taco Bell, we're going to do it nice. And uh, we got the uh, corn chips. Not bad for about $5, huh, Miss Lucy? All right, we're going to the dog park. So now we're at our second day park of the day, and this is the uh, Ford Street Park in Redlands, and Lucy's enjoying herself, and it really is a huge park. There's two lakes that people go fishing out of, and uh, we'll walk around. Guys, the reason why this looks so messed up is this is very complicated for me to do something like this. But anyhow, let's review. All right, so I stealth camped in Redlands, and I only drove eight miles that day. Um, I had 59.90. That was my leftover balance. I deposited 50, so that's 109. I forgot the other day I donated to the Lincoln Memorial, so that minus three. And at McDonald's, I had the Big Mac for 218 and the fries. Uh, earlier in the day, this is what I mean. I'm screwing up. I had the bagel for two dollars, and I went to, went to What a Bargain for 509, leaving me a balance of 96.79. I am having a great time, and I hope I'm showing you that you can do this really cheap. I will see you guys down the road.